and the snow. Thanks, Jesse. We won't hold you to anything. Time now for <laughs> Ask the Expert. A lot of people confused about vitamin E. Studies say vitamin E can protect against heart disease. Other studies say it may increase the risk of dying. Registered dietitian Lori Meyer joins us this afternoon. And I've always thought about vitamin E when it comes to cosmetics, but why is vi vitamin E recommended when it comes to reducing heart disease? Well, you know, there have been a lot of studies, and that has always been at the top of the list. It's a really potent antioxidant, and it, pro it protects us from a lot of cell damage. Mm -hmm. And in particular, it may actually help with cholesterol levels mm -hmm. and, and protecting the heart that way. And so we do know that there have been enough research studies that show that vitamin E is important for heart disease and cancer and, you know, just immune health. But it really depends on what kind of vitamin E that you get. Tell and us that's about really, the different kinds. And yeah. that's, that's really where we're at. There's two families of vitamin E, two different types. There's tocopherol. The alpha tocopherol is the one most of us are familiar with. It's usually what we see in a supplement. And then there's the family of tocotrienols. And there are four of each of these. What the research has always thought, well, tocopherol is probably all we need. It's the most abundant. Sure. Mm -hmm. But they're finding those, if you just get tocopherol and you don't get the tocotrienol, there's an imbalance. And that's why some of these studies showed that there wasn't an effect for preventing heart disease. And in fact, it might have actually increased death because they were using just one form. And when you look at vitamin E, it's best if you can get all of them. So I show see. us how to get all of them with what we have today. Well, um, first of all, if you want to get vitamin E in the diet, just the to tocopherols, you're looking at kind of your normal plants. Well, I right. guess we're going to go to the graphic, and we're going to see what the tocotrienol does. It will help to lower LDL cholesterol, help raise HDL, lowers triglycerides, lowers blood pressure, blood clots, arterial plaques. You can mm -hmm. see for heart disease, this is a really, really important thing that you want to do. We're also seeing tremendous research in reducing uh, tumor growth and, and, mm. and cancers, in particular uh, pancreatic cancer, breast cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, skin wow. cancer, prostate cancer. So it's a really, really important nutrient. We're also finding that it can help reduce fatty liver, um, improve bone density, and also helps with, with metabolic metabolic syndrome and, and insulin resistance. So for diabetics, this could be a really important thing as well. So Let when us we talk about where, the bounty now. Where yes. do we actually <laughs> get it? And fatty foods, it's fat soluble vitamins, so it's going to be found in fatty foods. The tocopherols, mm -hmm. the ones that are more abundant, found in oils like olive oil, almonds and other nuts, mm -hmm. um, broccoli, spinach and other greens, guacamole, avocados, red peppers, but at very, very small amounts. Okay. The tocotrienols, however, are not really going to be found in those foods. Tocotrienol, the best source, palm so oil. So this is just a tease here, the guacamole it, but and all that's just tease. a tease. Th that's the, but it's a good tease. So palm oil, coconut oil, rice bran oil, also a little bit in barley and oats. But you have to eat such quantities of these in order to get enough in the diet. If you already have one of those illnesses, okay. we usually recommend take a supplement. supplement. But be careful with your supplements. Some of the supplements, like this multi, all it has is the alpha tocopherol in it, and that might not be enough for you. So you may mm -hmm. want to look for a supplement that either has mixed tocopherols and tocotrienols or take a to mm. tocotrienol supplement by itself. All right, wow. Lori, thank you so much for the education. Have a question for any of our experts? Send an email to askthexpert at tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at that number on your screen. Coming